Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I've been privy to the rumor that he... or was that she? Hey, you understand this was many mugs ago. It was searching for Bronca on Lord Harriman's own command. Heh. <laughs> Well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. Say, could I ask you a favor? Name's Zagrin. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> And that's mostly true, but the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for, which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. I know what Bronca wanted and how she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Keridan's cross. No one's seen that Taig for five hundred years. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Vashadan. Uh -huh. Be careful out there. Cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. Aye. Bronca dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now, but near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. Well, look what we have here. A couple of Haramont's little laggies. Let's show them who's king! of Ogren's fine homebrew. It's the drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, but I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well, well, what do you think? Mm, very nice. Ah, you like it? <laughs> well, I never... Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet, just a hint of toastiness. 
there's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes. Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know. Give me more ale.
something.
What exactly are you drinking, my fine dwarven? This looks like the right way out. Poor time, Tig. It won't be long now. see this place in the flesh. I can see Bronca all over this place. She always took chips from the walls at regular intervals when she was in a new tunnel. Checked their composition. If she was still here, though, she'd have sentries out by now. Couldn't have said it better myself. Pardon? Oh, I'd give you a roll. Why not? A roll? Aye, any time. Preferably in the dark. I suppose I should be flattered. I'm not sure I have the equipment for that, but sure, whatever gets you working. <laughs> I'll get on it.
It's mine. I've claimed it. You've come to take my claim. You surfaces are all alike. Thieving scoundrels. Well, I found it first. Bah. He's a bloody scavenger. Good as sod and gone. Be gone, you. And you'll bring the Dark Ones back, you will. And they'll crunch your bones. Word has it you could only survive down here by eating the dark spawn dead. It, it burns when it goes down! It burns! It's my claim, not yours! Crunch your bones! riches. It's mine. I'm the one who found it. I drove out the crawlers. Now it's mine. Pretty lady. Pretty eyes. Pretty hair. Smells like the steam of burning water. Blue as the deepest rock. So the pretty lady won't take anything from Ruck? You won't take Ruck's shiny worms and pretty rocks? Oh, Ruck, not mind that, maybe. Ruck, not pretty name. Not pretty like Lady. Ruck is small and ugly and twisted. No, 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 no filter, no mother, no warm blanket and stew and pillow and soft words. Ruck doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no! She, she did not know, not what I did. I was very, 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 very angry, and, and then someone was dead, and, and they wanted to send Ruck to the mines. If I went to the mines, she, she would know, and everyone would know. So I came here instead. Once you eat, once you take in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. You know, do you not? Ruck sees, <laughs> yes, he sees the darkness inside you. Gray like the stone, guiding against the darkness. Beautiful like waterfalls under the lichen. No, 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 she cannot. She remembers a boy, a little boy with bright eyes and a hammer, and she cannot see this. I swear, promise, vow you won't tell. Yes, yes, T tell the mother Ruck is dead. He's dead, and his bones are rotting in the crawler's webs, and she should never look again. Pretty lady is like mother, yes. Too good, too pretty for the darkness. <laughs> 